I'd like to explain to you a type 2 spinal lesion in this case FSR left so we're going to say L3 flexion side bent and rotated left but in this case it's actually locked open on the right side okay so my patient is in a prone position we have identified that L3 on L4 again is rotated left so we know at this point that L3 is rotated and side bent left because it rotates and side bends to the same side for if we're abiding by Freud's laws which we are in this case so here we know this much and now we want to see if it's locked closed on the left or locked open on the right so in order to do this we'll ask our patient just just come up on your elbows as if you're reading a book or into a sphinx position if you do yoga and stop here and in this case it becomes more asymmetrical meaning that the shallow side uh, remains or gets worse and the deep side travels deeper okay so what is happening in this position is we know because it becomes more asymmetrical that it's locked open on the opposite side so the L3 facet is stuck in a forward position on L4 it becomes a pivot point and as she extends it cannot close because it's locked open so it swings around that and we end up with this kind of a picture here where the thumb on the rotated side becomes uh, shallower and the thumb on the deeper side becomes deeper that is uh, how we would do it in extension and just uh, to see what happens when she comes into flexion so if you sit back on your heels or come into the child's pose again if you do yoga and what happens here is the thumbs become more symmetrical why because it's a locked open facet on this side so when you flex the spine the facets open so the one on the right that is locked open can open and the one on the left just follows suit and opens also and now that is a flexion side bend rotated left locked open on the right side